What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Just want to make a quick update because um, a couple of you guys have actually reached out and said, hey man, what's up? Haven't heard from you in a while since uh, SEMA out in Las Vegas. Well, um, I have been kind of off the grid because I got COVID. Um, I don't know if I got it down in SEMA, down in Vegas, or somewhere up here in Reno, but whatever happened, I um, started feeling sick, and then, boom, got confirmed that I got COVID, probably the Delta variant. That's the most popular one up here in Nevada, and it hit me hard. Uh, it was tough. Uh, the first three days was all that crackling chest congestion where you're just constantly spitting into a bucket, at least for me anyways. Every time I breathe in and breathe out, it crackle and gurgle and phlegm just flying everywhere. It was disgusting. I thought I was going to die. It was like horrible. And then I felt better. And then I uh, had the worst body aches. Like the worst body aches you could possibly have. Just joints. My neck hurt. My back hurt. And as you know, when your neck and your back hurts when you're laying down, you can't sleep. So that was a part of the whole experience that made it even worse was not only, not only are you sick, but you can't sleep. That's the part that's just like, oh my God, what is going on? I was just, a couple of times I was like, what the F? You know? uh, I could not sleep no matter what I did. I rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled and flipped pillows and just grabbing blankets and just could not sleep all through the night. It would be two o'clock, look at the clock, three o'clock. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, next thing you know, it's the next day. And I'm like, I didn't get any sleep. <clears throat> and then, um, of course, the body aches, just achy in general. It was horrible. Uh, didn't get too much of a fever. I did get a fever at one point. I got chills. I got sweats. Like, at one, one point, I woke up, like, at 2 in the morning. I felt like a slimy lizard. I literally was like in the dark looking at my arms going, what happened? It was weird. <clears throat> Changed my clothes. As a matter of fact, I took a shower. It was so disgusting. But uh, yeah, just uh, probably a solid week of just laying down trying to eat. Oh, and that's another thing I didn't eat. I didn't eat at all. Like I literally was getting nervous because I was like, man, this is day five and I haven't eaten breakfast, lunch or dinner in five days. And my stomach didn't hurt. There's no grumblings, you know, like, oh, you know, achy stomach, like you want to go eat. I had none of that. So the upside is I lost like 15 pounds. It's crazy. Um, so if there's anything good about COVID, um, I lost 15 pounds. So I'm officially 100 and uh, what, 190 now, which is crazy because I hadn't been 190 in a long time. I'm kind of a guy who likes to eat, especially uh, like rice and potatoes. So anyway, uh, made it through. I took zinc. I took vitamin C, um, Tylenol, and uh, didn't really need it much more than that. And I made it. So it's now a week later and uh, I feel good. I'm probably like basically 100% now. So I don't know how you guys feel about the shots. I know there's guys that are, I have friends that are like absolute, you know, diehards. Like, no, I'm not taking it. I'll uh, quit my job and lose my, lose everything before I take it. I got friends who are like, oh yeah, it's the Illuminati and it's the elites and it's, uh, they're trying to depopulate the planet. You know, I've got friends that are I'm like, oh yeah, it's reptile DNA and all that stuff. I, I got friends that are like way on one side of this whole thing. And I have friends on the other end who are doctors and uh, multiple doctors that I, I'm friends with and family with that are, you know, normal people. And they're like, yeah, yeah they're looking at it from a scientific point of view. And I got everybody in between. You know? I'm somewhere in between there where like... Um, I actually got the vaccine. I actually got the first vaccine, the Pfizer. And uh, 
not because I was feeling forced to. I, I felt I had enough knowledge and did enough of my own homework and enough people got sick around me at that point when I got the shot. Um, I think maybe six of my coworkers all got sick. Um, two of them went to the hospital for pneumonia. Matter of fact, three of them went to the hospital for uh, bilateral pneumonia. I mean, it was bad. It was really, really bad. And I was like, you know what? I did enough of my homework. I'm going to go ahead and just get the shot. Um, I'm confident in what we got right now at this stage. So I got the shot. And then boom, I get sick. So, and I get, I get sick really bad too. So, <clears throat> Anyway, not to bore you guys with too much drama. Um, the good news is I'm better. So, uh, yeah, life is good. Um, the news was blowing up about Omicron. This new Omicron variant this, that's, that's changed and mutated. It's, I guess coming out of South, South uh, Africa. And it's already spread to Europe and Asia and Canada. And I just saw the news today. <clears throat> It said there's a confirmed case of Omicron in California. So California is right over there. It's just right over that hill. So believe what you believe. I mean, I'm like, oh, there's guys, it's, it's the end of the world. There's other guys that are like, oh, yeah, they're just trying to scare you. It's just one more thing to scare you because of the uh, other things with politics that's going on. So anyway. Um, I'm not going to take it lightly. It is what it is. I think it, I think it is legit, um, something to be worried about. I'm already a prepper, so I already have stockpiles of food, water, guns and bullets and, uh, all that good stuff. So anyway, take care guys, do what you got to do to get ready, uh, for 2020 and, uh, it's gonna be nuts, man. This is crazy. Can't it's like we can't catch a break, you know. Take care guys. Have a good one.